So somebody had asked about a line graph, and I had actually planned to make one after I made my bar graph tutorial, but I never did. I had originally made one in the original Create Studio, but those files aren't um, compatible. So I just made a quick one that you see here, and every intention of making this a mini tutorial. So hopefully we'll do this quickly. So I'm just going to make this smaller. I don't know why it's so big. Um, what I'm going to do is first show you how to make the graph itself before the data points. And all I did for this, let me just bring over my background. I was playing with different things. Um, and this is just like a piece of paper from that I downloaded. I actually Oh, I might have deleted it. Um, I had just used one of the transitions and took a screenshot when it was full. So I took one of the paper transitions in Create Studio, took a screenshot like um, this, and it came here and I'm using that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a square and here is my y-axis and you can change it to whatever color i had it white at first um, but then i didn't like it against the background but you can definitely do whatever you want um, i'm going to make that black like it was just so it stands out you can then get another shape to make the x-axis what i did is i just duplicated it you can see right there i did command d but then i have to go in so when i grab it if I'm on a full size, I can't grab it without, see how the arrows, it would end up changing the width. Um, so that's the, the downside of duplicating it if you've already changed the width. But I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to shift and my arrow key down. My shift and right arrow key on my keyboard. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to use my shift and arrow key. And now I'm going to release my shift and just use the arrow key. And let's see. Arrow, my left arrow key to have it match. That looks good. Now I also need my X to be longer. So I am going to zoom in so I can make sure that I grab that to bring it over. I'm hitting my F. It could still go further over, but we're not going to worry too much about that. You're going to size it to how you need it. The way that I made my um, scale is I went to components and I grabbed the text box. I've written them before and just made different numbers and going up but I actually for the purposes of here I decided to try the text box and I actually like it so I'm going to just get rid of the color of the background because I don't want the color of the background and then I can have black for the text color Whoop! what am I doing trying to make this a mini tutorial and I'm rushing and then I just so on the bottom I had a scale of one um, It's automatically putting, so I'm going to have to change, you know, just get rid of the, oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't know where it went. So I need to get rid of those periods, but this is how I made it. And then I was able to change it up if I had to much easier than if I had to shift a bunch of text boxes, but you can choose whatever might work for you. I have always done text boxes and made a one and then made a 10. Um, but here I can just position it. And then if I want to put another space and make it go wider, it's easier than changing some different things. Um, but I'm going to undo that because you're going to, you're going to scale that the way that you want it to be. Then I just duplicated that and I made my scale over here. I think I actually did this one first. Um, but here I just went from, I did, I did percentages. So 
I just had, um, I'd probably make these a little smaller so you can make the text size different sizes so you can make it smaller. And then I just did it by 25. And then I can just put it here and clearly I can go up higher so I can always just go in and put a couple more lines in there and very easily select and bring this up. That was a little bit too many spaces, but you can space it the way you want. You can put text boxes if you want. Um, this is bothering me because these should be smaller and I shouldn't worry about those, but it is bothering me. Um, that's all you have to do. And then I did use a text box to um, make my axes labels. So I'm going to turn it black. And this, I had session underneath the X. And I have to make that smaller. And then I can just have one on the Y axis as well. All right. This is what's more important, right? You can make your axis, axes, whatever scale you want, whatever numbers, whatever your labels are, just using text boxes. Um, but let me go here where I already have, um, I just extended what I already had because I wasn't sure what it would look like when I made it with you. So, I'm just going to extend the, um, no, those are the, extend that a little bit. So what I did is I simply put, I guess I didn't extend everything I need. Sorry, I thought I had been prepared. Oh, I did. I just was in the wrong spot. So here I just went. And I grabbed a circle. I resized it. You can just click and drag from the corner or you can use the scale to what size you want. Now it's small so to make sure I grab it I'm just going to shift left arrow key. Whoop. I think I did grab it. I don't know why that got resized. And I'm just going to put it wherever I want my data to be. So maybe the first, whoa, see when they're small, it's very easy to grab the wrong spot. So make sure you see the little hand and not the change to the arrows. And I always mess it up. So let's put the first data point on 25. Then all I did, I'm gonna, lock the background because it keeps, I keep hitting that with my mouse. Now I'm just going to go up here to effects and components. I am going to um, go to effects, get my doodle, bring doodle over. I'm going to get rid of the hand, but you can keep the hand. And now you can see that it doodles in. You can change the path. I'll show you how to do that with a line because we're going to do that. I'm going to change this color to more of a gray. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, Command D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to move my second data point to wherever I want it. So let's see, say we're doing better. And so the, the behavior is going up. Now I have my two data points. I'm going to stagger this this one after the first. So now we draw the first data point and the second data point. That could even come a little later. You can make it draw faster if you want by clicking and dragging the doodle node. So then it would draw faster if you want it to be faster. You can make it take longer by dragging it to the right. Now there's two ways of doing the line. The first way I did the line is with the doodle and then realized I didn't like that. So let me show you how I did that I did like first. So 
if you look at my original, this first one is going to be a doodle. And did you see how it was thin and then it went to wide? I could not get that doodle. I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to select it, go to effects, this over so you can see it, click on doodle. What I did is I went in and manually edited the path, but I still couldn't get it to be wide enough at the start. And I didn't really like the look of that, which I actually thought I would like, but I didn't. So let me show you how I did it that I did like. So I again went in and I got a, why am I having the trouble? I got a square, sized it. It needs to be, it needs to be thinner, but I want to get it in place. Then I had the beginning and the ending to my two data paths points. I'm going to make it thinner. I'm zooming in just so I can be more precise. I actually also, I don't know if I'll be able to grab the nodes. I did, um, let me see, I am going to change this to the same color as my dots. You can make it a different color, but I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to use my color picker and grab it. And then I'm going to make it thinner. All right. But we don't want it to just appear, do we? So I'm going to select it. I added an animation of linear position and scale on the end key point. The end key point is where I want it to end up. I'm just going to move this over a little. This first one, what I want to do is, oh, now I grab those nodes. Hold on. Is reduce it down. You can do it with the scale button as well, but sometimes I struggle with that. So let's look at this. Now it just, dra uh, let me get rid of that. Now it just draws it right up. Then all I did is I duplicated my circle again. I'm going to have it drawn after the line. Let's. More of those. So we have the graph itself. I have a new circle. I'm just going to move it. And now let's say for the third data point, I'm just using my shift and keyboard arrow keys to move it around. It's now, it should be over a little bit, but it's on the three. Then I decided to make things easy and I just duplicated the line so I don't have to animate it again. But now I have to move what I have, right? So I'm going to move it and I'm going to put the starting point on my data point and the end I want, oh, I moved it too soon. On the end, sometimes you're going to have to extend it because, see how it's getting wider? Because I'm dragging it, I need to go in so I can be sure to get the line and not the circles. So now let's see how that looks.
and I need to extend some of these. But that's really all you have to do. Let's see how that looks. That was the last one. I can make those come faster or shorter. You can also, let me show you after this happens, you can also extend how long it takes to draw the line from between data points. This would be very tedious. That took a long time, so I wouldn't want that. But then you would just keep making, I hope I didn't undo too much, um, and then you would just, I think duplicating it and using what you already animated is the quickest way to go. You can draw the doodle path on this if you want. I found that that didn't work as well, but let me just show you what you would do with that. I'm going, I just duplicated that to delete the animation. Um, let me just move this, whoop. I should have just made a new one. All you would do with this, if you, ha if you wanted to make a doodle of drawing between the lines, you would just go up here, get your doodle, drop it on the asset. I have a tutorial on doing this I can link to. I am not, I don't want to show the hand. I can go to manual, edit the path. Maybe we don't have to edit the path, let's see. That went kind of fast. Yeah, I don't like that. We would definitely need to edit the path. You can clear it. And then you just do control and then click the mouse and you can just draw your line and then it would draw it. I didn't like you can't really, I couldn't get it to look really good this way, but it might have just been my sizing, but you can use whatever you like. I liked the way it looked with the line instead of doodle. So there's an idea for how you can do it. You can also put a text book for text box for the title to the graph. You could put a legend on your graph. I decided to just make one data path, but if you had two dependent variables and you want to have those both on there, you would just do the same thing. So I hope that helped.